Hi, Dr. Mahesh here. Today I am going to show a case of percutaneous endoscopic discectomy L4 L5. This is an MRI scan of a 40 year old patient who presented with back pain radiating to right lower limb since 3 months. The MRI scan shows a small disc protrusion on the right side at L4 5 level. Though the herniation appears to be very small on the MRI, patient has significant symptoms and it requires surgery. I have inserted a needle followed by a guide wire, then a dilator and a cannula using transfer aminal approach into L45 disc space under image control. Then I insert endoscope and further surgery is done using endoscope. The disc material is stained blue with methylene blue. I have removed a little bit of disc material to expose the base of the herniation. As you see here, there is a massive disc herniation and the herniated fragment is visible now. That's why I called this tip of the iceberg because the MRI shows only a small disc protrusion. However, when you go inside, there is a massive disc herniation underneath. That's why this patient had significant symptoms. I'm trying to catch hold of this herniated fragment with this forceps and remove it. But because the size of the fragment is big, it is not coming out easily. So what I need to do is I need to change the disc forceps and then take it out. Now I have changed the disc forceps. I am going in again and try to grab this fragment. Now I caught hold of this fragment. When I catch this fragment, patient experiences radiating pain in lower limbs. But once the fragment has come out, the leg pain is completely relieved. You can see the size of the fragment which is about 4 into 0.5 cm in size. When we go in again, you can see the epidural bleeding which again confirms that it is the herniated fragment. The bleeding stops automatically. I do little more of clearing of disc tissue to reduce the recurrence rate. Once all the fragments have been removed, you can see the epidural flat and free floating dural pulsations. Thank you and I will see you in my next video on endoscopic discectomy.